Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another example of an entrance exam question around the world, and in particular the JEE Advanced, and we know that those are pretty tough questions. Although this one right here is not so difficult, and you can probably do it in less than three minutes, but you do want to make sure you do something first before you try to answer the question. So let's read the question first. We have a conductor which is shown carrying a constant current I which is kept in the XY plane in a uniform magnetic field B. So here we have a wire which has been in a particular shape. It carries a constant current I. The, the uh, wire is kept in the XY plane. And then it says, if F is the, the magnitude of the total magnetic force acting on the conductor, the correct statement is as follows. So there's four statements. You have to figure out which of those four are correct. It could be one, it could be four, two, three. You don't know how many, which makes it a little bit tougher. So they give us the following. If B is along the z-axis, if B is along the x-axis, if B is along the y-axis, if B is along the z-axis. So it's not a bad idea to draw the four the three B fields, because two of them are in the same direction. So this is coming out of the page, that's in the Z direction, because it's X, Y, Z, so Z is coming in our direction, along the X axis and along the Y axis, which is given on the drawing as well. Notice that these are equal length, L and L. These are equal distance, R and R, that's the radius of the arc. And so let's go ahead and read each question to see if that makes sense. Also notice that if the current is at an angle at each particular position, there's going to be, and let me grab a different color, there's going to be an X and a Y component of the direction, right? So at this point, we have an, a, a Y component and we have an X component. So anywhere along right here, the same thing, there's going to be an, an X component and there's going to be a Y component to the current as it goes along that wire. So one, component may be affected by the magnetic field while the other component may not be so we need to take that into account all right first of all if b is along the z axis which is in this direction the force on the wire is going to be proportional to l and r so let's see if that's true so first of all along this section right here which is the same as along that section you take your fingers you curl them in the direction of the current and then you curl your fingers in the direction or you point your fingers in the direction of the current then you curl your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field to do that we have to turn our hand around like this and then go like this and then the thumb will point in the force so along this line and along this line the force will be downward and the magnitude of the force will indeed be proportional to L so that makes sense the longer L is the greater the force what about R so when it travels up this direction and down this direction, notice that the horizontal component, the horizontal component will act the same as this. So you can see that the bigger R, the bigger the horizontal component, so the force will be proportional to R because the horizontal component is in the same direction as the two lines right there. What about the vertical component? Let's take our hand. So we, that's the direction of the current. We curl like this and the force is like this. And so you can see that any component has a force in this direction, but notice when we go down in the opposite direction, then the force will be in the opposite direction, right? So then we go like this, and so we can see that the current up will be negated by the current down, the current up will be negated by the current down, as far as the vertical component is concerned, so that makes no difference. So sure enough, it's L, R, R, and L that is concerned, so the first statement is indeed true. How about the second statement? Oh, by the way, if B is along the z-axis, this is true. So if B is along the z-axis, then this cannot be true if this is true. So definitely you can right away also say that D is not part of the answer. How about B? If the magnetic field is along the x-axis, no, the magnetic field is along the x-axis, notice that if the current is in the same direction as the magnetic field, there's no force. What about in this part right here well on the horizontal component there's no force on the vertical component notice as it goes up so we have up the current goes up now I have to turn around like this the magnetic field is this way so the force is into the board as the current goes up and it's out of the board as the current goes down they will negate each other so therefore the up and the down components will be negated 
and therefore you could say that if B is along the x-axis, the force is zero. How about if the B field, the magnetic field, this is along the y-axis? So now again, we have a current going this way and the magnetic field going up. That means as you're traveling in this direction, the force is out of the board. On the component horizontal, it's out of the board. On the component is horizontal, out of the board. And here, it's out of the board. So along the horizontal motion of the current, it's out of the board. What about the up motion? Well, on the up motion, we have no magnetic field forces because the direction of the current is the same as the direction of the magnetic field. So either down or up, there's no force for the up or down component, so that can be negated, which means the force is going to be proportional to the length in the horizontal direction, which means that this is the correct answer as well. So it turns out that A, B, and C are all correct answers, but D has to be a wrong answer, and that is how it's done. Of course, you can do this much quicker than I did because I went through a lot of time explaining, but if you know what's going on, you can find the right direction between the current and the magnetic field and the direction of the force, you can click through this probably in a couple of minutes. It was six minutes. I did six minutes, Ooh. but I did a lot of explaining. Oh. <laughs> All right, so that's this one.